Hi folks, Tim here from Hoya and Sheep Tech, and I've been blowing up my ears all afternoon and most of last night actually. Uh, that the base that you know base up setting on these unbelievable. Makes you want to listen to more. And I'm not that big a music listener, but lately, I'll bet you I have 10 hours of use in these. Just turned them off before we began. Got the lavalier mic on. Uh, just because I'm too lazy to take these off. And maybe it'll make me talk a little louder. So let's do the intro. We'll compare the Mi A3 and the Redmi Note 8. Straight up at the stage I have them. They both take stellar photos, obviously. As a matter of fact, there's no difference in cameras as far as performance goes, um, except for one has a macro lens. So let's get to that right now. See you in a second. All right, folks, here we are. Take a look at the Redmi Note 8 and the Mi A3, both from Xiaomi. Uh, we're gonna go over my impressions so far since I've got these two. Similarities, dissimilarities. All right. They both have wake on lift. Watch here. And, oh, look. That one wakes up. And if we lift up the Mi A3, there's our in screen fingerprint reader. Now, there is the first big difference on the Mi A3. It's pretty colors and all with the rinky case, which is clear. You get a fingerprint reader in the back, which I like much better than uh, the in screen fingerprint reader. But so far, this is the daily driver. Wait a minute, what are you filming on? The Mi A2, folks. The Mi A2. Get used to it. What's a 12 megapixel camera? All right, so let's look at the camera arrays on both. Floating over here. Hmm. Ooh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three. Wait a minute, that can't be right. It certainly is, folks. You see, this one has a macro lens. This one doesn't, only difference. So you'll never see me do a camera comparison. I went out today during the afternoon, bright and sunny out. And uh, this thing takes stellar photos just like this one on the 48 megapixel camera, which puts out 12 megapixel images when you're all when all is said and done. They both have a uh, wide angle shooter and uh, this one has a macro shooter 
which I have no need for. Now this one looks a bit bigger. It, it is actually longer, but it is not as big as it looks. The case adds a lot to its bulk here. It's a rinky Fusion X case. That's a Ferrolissimo case over here. As far as displays go, uh, this one does get brighter. And I don't know what I just did there. I zoomed. Sorry. Sloppy finger work here. Uh, now I know I've badmouthed this one a lot lately. It's still a great phone for a budget user. It's got its issues, a lot of issues. Uh, one of them being, I cannot get this phone, the Redmi, to format an SD card, a micro SD card, as internal storage. I, I have not found a way. Now, I, I have found some videos on how to do it, and the titles were written in English, but everything was in Hindi. So if anyone out there knows how to do that, or has found a video done in English, thank you. Uh, I'm all for it. Uh, on this one, stuck it in. Your Google poof came right up. Format SD card as internal storage. That's what you want. Now we're still, you know, they're both on nine. Android nine. This one should get any time now. I keep waiting. Android 10. India already has it. As I understand, it will get it next and then Europe. Uh, but Xiaomi is dragging their feet as usual. Not supposed to happen with these Android 1 phones. And there's still some bloatware here. There is a ton of bloatware here. <laughs> Just trying to find your weather. It has to pick a city for, you know, your Google weather. It's like, uh, well, I don't live in Shenzhen. I don't live in, it names every country way out west of here, you know, across the ocean. If you type in the name of the city you're in, you don't find it. So, that's a problem. And the bloatware is a problem, but if you're just gonna buy a camera phone, or a smartphone with a camera, and don't really care about little details like that. This is an excellent phone, so I'm going to quit bad-mouthing this for a while, maybe a week or so, until, until I get some results. I mean, if I could get this to have 128 gig like this one does now, yeah. And of course, this has 64 
on main and then 64 on the internal storage. And that's where everything goes. And I think I, I shot like eight videos so far with it at work. And I still got like 41 gig free. Or like this one, which would be just like the Mini 2 I'm looking at. 17.8 gig, at least started at 18.8. We began to shoot. But, all in all, I can still recommend this if you want a slightly larger phone. And this really isn't too only large. And you can get rid of that skin you're looking at right there by replacing it with the uh, uh, Nova Launcher Prime. It's like seven bucks on Google. And if you've not listened to me yet or watched my Google Opinion Rewards video, get Google Opinion Rewards. Answer the damn questions. You'll get it. Eight, nine, ten dollars in no time flat. And that's all I have for this evening. Short, sweet, to the point. Both good phones. The cameras on here are every bit as good as any of the six hundred to seven hundred dollar phones out there. They just are. So Don't waste your money. Go cheap. And if you can find a Mi A2, they're still a great deal. Obviously, we're shooting on it. You don't get the headphone jack on this one. You get the headphone jack at the bottom. And on this one, the headphone jacks at the top. This one would become my daily driver for a while if it were not for the fact that no storage space. Come on. Tell me. There's got to be a way to do this. And that's all I have for tonight, so give us a like, share the video, subscribe to our channel, and uh, thanks for watching the whole damn thing. We'll catch you in the next one tomorrow when our goodies come in uh, for this phone, the screen. Temper glass screen protector will make sure it works with that feral small case. This one needs one a little bit less on the front because it's got pretty good lip. This one, the lip is not as pronounced. So, we need to protect it. And that's it. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.